Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown from Adobe Systems, and this is The Russell Brown Show. In this advanced tutorial here inside of Adobe Lightroom Mobile, I'm going to discuss how you can paste graduated filters, radio filters, noise reduction, and lens corrections right onto an existing image here within Lightroom Mobile. Check this out. If I tap and hold on this image, I can then paste some settings that I've copied from another image right onto this image. If I go back over here to my collection of images, here are the original images that I copied those settings from. And here it is right here. I tap on it. So this is an image that contains a graduated filter, a radial filter, noise reduction, and lens corrections right inside of it. Now I made these adjustments to this image in Adobe Lightroom on the desktop. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how I created this file and then how I applied it to the images inside of Lightroom Mobile. What makes this amazing is that you can now use any of the features found in Lightroom on the desktop and apply them to an image on the desktop and then share that image here inside of Lightroom Mobile and then apply those settings to any of your images. You can then extend the capabilities of Lightroom Mobile even with features that don't yet exist here inside of Lightroom Mobile. How does this work? Let's switch right over to Lightroom on the desktop right now and check this out. Here are the exact same gradients that I had inside of Lightroom Mobile. Here's the gradient right here that I want to use. I'm going to double click on this gradient. Now, of course, the background to this gradient is a solid image filled with 60% gray. And then I'm applying different effects to this standard gray background. And that's what you see here in the preview of those effects. If I tap here on the develop mode for this image, then go over here to the right and tap here on this icon for graduated filter right there. I can then see the graduated filter, in this case, that I have here in the sky, making it darker, with an exposure adjustment of a minus 2.05. If I go up here and tap on my radial filter icon right here, you can see that I have two distinct radial filters. One that makes it darker on the outside of this filter and one that makes it lighter on the inside. Finally, over here to the right, if I scroll down, you can see that I've also added some detail adjustments. I'm sharpening my images. I'm adding a little bit of masking so it doesn't sharpen it too much. And down here, I've made some very special adjustments to noise reduction in my luminance and noise reduction in my color. This is really, really nice to add color noise reduction across your mobile phone images. And then finally, down here under Lens Corrections, under the Profile tab, I've selected to Enable Profile Corrections. And in this case, the images I'm working with with the solid gray background are Apple iPhone images. So the profile is showing up here automatically. But you can set this profile for the specific camera you're working with. It can be an iPhone camera or it could be an Android camera. Those are the settings that I want to use on all of my images inside of Lightroom Mobile. So they're all encapsulated inside of this file. I can now go back to my library here and down to my grid of images down here to the left under grid view. And you can see them all here. Now, what's great is I can set these up and then synchronize them across all of my mobile devices. Let's now switch back over to Lightroom Mobile here on the iPad Pro. If I tap here on my gradients, you can see these same gradients that were over in Lightroom on the desktop. If we tap on this gradient that we want to use right here, then tap and hold right on the image, we can then copy the settings, selecting that right there. Now you can select all of the settings or select deselect all and only select a subset. In this case, I only want to copy the local adjustments, which includes my graduated filters and radial filters, 
Notice how I'm selecting the flyout menu to view those. I want to select my noise reduction and my lens corrections. Just those three. Then I select OK. So now, if I go to one of my other images here at Pfeiffer Beach, right here, and then tap and hold and paste these settings. I love this capability of sharing these Lightroom desktop features here inside of Lightroom Mobile when I'm on the go and I want to bring some of those features with me when I don't have the desktop version to allow me to add those features. I'm going to show you one last thing. Here on another image that I took at Point Reyes, California, I took a panorama shot of this shipwreck right here. This is the standard image directly from the camera where I've created a panorama. I'm going to tap and hold one more time and paste the settings again. It's now applied those settings to this image and really given it an amazing look. Almost like I'm using a flash here with my iPhone. But check this out. It's adjusting the elliptical shape of my radial filters so that it extends and stretches to meet the size of the image you're working with. So there you have it. This is an amazing capability that you can add to your projects here inside of Adobe Lightroom Mobile. Give this technique a try.